It's becoming clear Dorner could be anywhere, and this morning there's evidence the hunt for him has gone international. Overnight, police conducted a raid at this hotel in Tijuana, Mexico. They apparently found no evidence he was there, but for days, customs officials have been hunting for Dorner along the southern border. And there are new details this morning about Dorner's possible movements in the days before the shooting. There are new reports that Dorner checked into this Navy Gateway Inn and Suites Hotel in Point Loma, California, the same day using his Navy ID. He kept pointing his face away from the away from the camera, trying to purposely avoid the cameras that were at the front desk. Dorner now faces capital charges that involve the murder of Riverside officer Michael Crane, gunned down in an ambush last Thursday. He was married with two children, ages 10 and 4. This individual, by both his words and conduct, has made it very clear to all of us that every law enforcement officer in Southern California is in danger. And with the possibility of Dorner's trail growing cold, the Los Angeles police chief issued a warning to the public. Don't think it's just about protecting cops. You know, this man is a threat to every person in Los Angeles. A city in fear is fighting back. The $1 million reward now being offered has led to a surge in tips. In total, more than 700 calls about clues have come in so far. Sources tell ABC News police are trying to reconstruct the last six months of Dorner's life. They're looking at all of his associates, including someone identified as J.Y. in court records obtained by ABC News. Investigators believe J.Y. has ties to property near where Dorner's burning truck was discovered. George? Okay, Pierre, thanks.